drugs. We're in textiles. I need the drugs! Hmm. Works for Jack Bauer. Is this really necessary? The chairs in the hall are way more comfortable. But way less genre appropriate. Okay, here's the deal. I need information. You have reasons not to give me that information. So either I can force it out of you, or I can't. I wish I could tell you. Okay, well, let's work with that. Forget the drugs. Let's talk about textiles. What's your major product? Is it H? And by that I mean hosiery. We do more with culottes. Is that with a C or a K? C. Nobody wants K anymore. Does your friend cut the fabric? No, he's a sales guy. We must cut a culotte here and there. No one touches the culottes. Sorry, can I talk to you for a second? I'm interrogating a suspect. Make it quick. <clears throat> Everyone in our building thinks we're gay. <clears throat> we're grown men over the age of 30 who moved in together. We're two tigers away from an act in Vegas. We'll figure out we're straight eventually. Eventually is not when I want to go out with the cute girl in 3B. Any chance I could get some water over here? If only there was some way to communicate that information to her. Perhaps using, I don't know, sounds. If only the larynx was capable. She didn't believe me. She sidestepped my dinner invite. And a woman would only reject you because she's worried that you might not be interested in her. We were chatting, having fun. There was definitely a spark. When she thought you were gay. Are you sure your friend isn't secretly tr What is a culotte anyway? Pants that hang like a skirt. Mickey hates the stuff. He's one of the few guys I trust to watch the product overnight. They took him away an hour ago. You think he's okay? It's an ear test. Pretty sure he'll live. Pupils are constricted. Pulse is bounding. The airway is clear. Need a crash guard in here. It's gotta be his blood pressure. We need to get it down before he strokes out. Because we know his ears are okay. Ultrasound showed no narrowing or obstruction in the patient's carotid. Not that he's worried. Keeps asking when he can leave. You bugged his room? The patient sleeps in the building where they keep their stash. Eventually, he'll say something and gives away where that is. Then we'll find out what's making him sick. But we ruled out environmental causes. You ruled out environmental causes. And you pretended to agree just so we take him out of his room so you could plant the bug. Carotid stenosis was a decent idea. But an even decenter idea is that he's got toxins stored in his fat cells. Every calorie he burns makes him sicker. If we're going with toxic exposure, we should just start testing for the most likely suspects. Bugs a better idea than blindly running tests for days. Tell him it'll take weeks. It'll be faster. What do you mean, weeks? These tests take time. There are a lot of possibilities. No, I, I can't sit here this long. I got things I gotta take care of. You're worried about all the poor school children going without their drugs? I'm sure someone- I wanna be discharged. I'll get the forms. This is ridiculous. He's sitting in a lab all day. In the lab, there is significantly less chance of getting killed. You're too close, slow down. We're in a car in broad daylight. What's gonna happen? You honestly think he doesn't have a gun in that car? That he's gonna use to shoot doctors? Just back off. <sighs> hey, well played with the watch, by the way. Borrowed it from a friend. How much longer are we gonna keep lying to him? Until it's no longer fun. We all thought he needed to be taken down a few notches. So we're just having fun, not getting even. Crap. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's gonna get away. Shut up. This friend 
brought him in 15 minutes ago. Temp's 105. Pulse is weak and thready. He's not making any sense. It's too much money, Eddie. It wasn't the deal. It wasn't the deal. Is he gonna be okay? Eddie! We gave him antipyretics and soft steroids to reduce the fever and prevent organ damage. He's no longer delirious. Patient went out, came back worse than before. Points us back to environmental. Tied to wherever he went. No, it doesn't. Where's Foreman? He had a meeting with Cuddy. What do you mean, no, it doesn't? We screwed up the tail. My car was impounded. True, amusing, and irrelevant. Foreman fall for the paycheck thing. Uh, yeah. Muzzle tough. Should be fun to watch. You're off environmental? Wherever he went, it wasn't for long enough. Add in the fever, and infection's way more likely. And if it is an infection, his symptoms suggest it's moved to his brain. Which means... To a lumbar puncture. Next time you're tailing someone, you take two cars. You knew we were following you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to lose you. I had business to take care of. Right, because you're a businessman. Do you have any junkies coming to the ER every week with their brains melting? I bet there's more drunks with their livers giving out. With a liquor store owner laying on his table, I'm guessing he doesn't get attitude. Ah! I hit bone. His old back injury must have flattened out his discs. Sorry, but I've got to try this again. You okay? Yeah. An adult wants to get wasted. Why is it anybody's business what substance they use? Because some of those substances are against the law. Well, so your problem isn't that it's immoral, your problem is that it's illegal. I got the same problem. I'm in. Look at his heart rate. It's normal. I know. 